which collapsed while they were crossing it, and they all died, of course. And he deals with the different circumstances that brought them to be there at that bridge. These people who didn't even know each other brought them to be there at that bridge that day. And the question of a chaotic universe in which random events occur versus the concept of a deterministic universe in which an ordered destiny or fate is at work is one of the questions that's raised by these type of, of things. Uh, viewed from the perspective of a random chance universe, what are the odds that a young woman who left Paris, Texas to move to Anchorage, Alaska would happen to stop at that precise location, Liard Hot Springs, at that particular time of day to become the victim of a bear attack? Questions arise along the lines of what if she had come to the park an hour earlier and left an hour earlier? Uh, you know, what if they'd arrived there the day before? Then would she have avoided what happened? In a meaningless, yeah. In a meaningless universe, what happened to her was random and without rhyme or reason. Now, viewed from a perspective of destiny, a deterministic universe, other elements come into play. Uh, there's the question of do people realize when their time is near? Patty had remarked several times to friends and family, "I will never live to see 40." Well, she was 37 when the bear attack occurred. She had remarked just before leaving Paris, I want to get away from it all and start a new life. And there's a very strange, uh, which her, her daughter, Kristen, who's, who's now an adult, uh, wrote about in a, a topics forum thread. Apparently, and this was just joking, of course, when they were leaving Paris, at the very beginning of their trip, they stopped uh, at a guy's house. And Patty jokingly said, you know, when I get back up there to Alaska, I'm going to feed the bears. And the guy looked there and he said, girl, those bears will eat you up. And he was just joking, just making an offhanded remark. But it takes on a, a, a cryptic, uh, predictive type element when, when, you, when you view what happened. You know, in light of what happened, uh, a, a lot of different things take on a different meaning, you know, depending on one's point of view. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we ask ourselves that all the time, you know, in day-to-day -day living, you know, it's like, oh, darn, you know, maybe this wouldn't have happened if I had done that or, you know, that person would still be alive if, you know, I had done something different and, you know, it is, yeah. it's mind-boggling to think about. Absolutely it is. And there seems to be some indication that some people have some sort of an awareness subconsciously uh, if their death is imminent. Uh, it could be that some people have a subconscious awareness when their time is near. Those Those are deep questions that Mankind has wrestled with for ages. I guess since the dawn of mankind, these are questions that. Uh, and as as uh, one of our occasional guests here on the show, uh, psychologist uh, and the uh, founder of the Birth Order Group, Henry Baxley, he says he believes these questions are unanswerable. He thinks that certain questions are simply unanswerable, uh, and I think that's a very interesting comment. Uh, on August the 14th, 1997, a black bear attacked and killed a woman from Paris, Texas and a Canadian man who tried to save her. Two other people were severely mauled and hospitalized. This event is statistically more rare than being struck by lightning or winning the lottery.